What's up everyone? Today we're gonna to watch Bora City Magazine's newest video, which I guess talks about people say that they miss the old BTS sound, which it's an interesting thing to say. I mean, I, I can see why, you know, some people would think that, but I feel like BTS, if you look back at everything they've released, it's like they're always trying new sounds. So I don't feel like they, they stuck with like one sound for a long time. Usually it was kind of changing. Also not to mention that every single BTS album ever is always like a mix of different genres and styles. But yeah, let's let's watch the video and see what Bora City Magazine had to say about this. No matter which kind of music you listen to, you've most probably heard these phrases. These artists fell off. They've gone mainstream. They are not the same. I miss their old sound. Happens every this time. This is a pretty common narrative <laughs> applied to most music artists. And the biggest group in the world is not exempted from this criticism. You know, there, it's because there, there are some people who like legit stop liking an artist just because they became popular like that happens a lot which is crazy <laughs> in music is very rarely welcomed because as you can see these phrases always come with a negative connotation this phenomenon is very common because change is uncomfortable people resist change because it takes us out of our comfort zone a a life change lesson is here. human and artists are human too this is more obvious with the artists who are very connected to their art and their artistic decisions because their changes of opinion lifestyle or artistic preferences yeah, will be be reflected changes their music. In their art. These changes will be reflected in their sound. In K-pop, for example, music labels know the negative reception change can have on listeners, so they avoid it. This sameness has worked in some of the biggest groups in K-pop. K-pop labels create an image for their groups that come with one specific and they sound. Try to keep this it. sound becomes their thing, and they avoid changing it. However, mm. BTS is a little... Yeah, I guess that's like the... That's like a very business way to do it, but you know, BTS, they... They kind of did it more for the art, for this wanting to do it. This becomes their thing, and they avoid changing it. However, BTS is a little more transparent and raw than that. BTS's sound direction over the years has been a little bit of a mess, <laughs> for a lack of a better word. A BTS mess? BTS started with one sound, <laughs> then they changed it to something else. Then they evolved their first sound, then they started a new one, then another one, yeah, then they, they evolved it's been a lot. one, and so on. BTS's music changed from rebellious to romantic, from angry to sad, from sexy to inspirational change is part of bts as well yeah, you know and i feel like all of that is part of why you enjoy it you know you see the process of them growing up and learning more it's not just about listening to the music just because of the sound uh, when it comes to bts you can read the lyrics and see a little bit more to it which adds to the experience of listening to their albums from angry to sad from sexy to inspirational change is part of bts's life and they will show it in their songs even if these changes are dramatic the result is art that is painful cruel but also fun and beautiful this is why i believe the phrase i miss bts's old sound is just an excuse an excuse Hey, BTS has gone through artists, BTS many, many eras. <laughs> All iconic. Just like many artists, BTS has gone through many changes that fans refer to as eras. One thing that I wanted to highlight is that when people complain about BTS's new eras and say they miss their old ones, they usually mean that they miss one of their old sounds because their composition is not addressed as much. The message, form, and attitude in the lyrics BTS compose now are not at all the same as they used to be, but you won't see people praising or criticizing their change of lyrics because it's not easy. Judging sound is easy and convenient. If you go beyond the sound and the aesthetics, you will notice that BTS's lyrics mm -hmm. change accordingly. When BTS was in high school or just graduated from high school, their lyrics and sound were rebellious and youthful. So obviously, their school trilogy reflected their lives and thoughts in school. As they yeah, everything, everything youthful. about so that era just screamed like high school, youth, all of that <laughs> their school trilogy I, I i like i even had a lot of fun seeing their their red bullets tour the 
the whole like concept and the VCR they were they would show was just all about being a rebellious. <laughs> Reflected their lives and thoughts rebellious in school. Kids. As they transition into adulthood, the rebelliousness in school transformed into rebelliousness in society and life. The result is Dark and Wild, an angrier album with heavier rock sounds. In their youth era, they left their teenage days behind. They already experienced what it's like being an adult. So they were Wait, this, this map? So youth, temptation and growth? And then self-acceptance with love yourself, artistic identity, the pandemic, and legacy. Each day's behind. So that's they the whole journey. experience what it's like being an adult. So they reflect on life and youth. However, the more independent you get, the more you notice the difficulties of adulthood. Themes like temptation, violence, the darkest aspects of society, they talk and the about search all of that. for freedom are the main themes of the Wings era. The healing of these traumas is more visible in their Love Yourself trilogy, an era with tons of reflection and inspirational messages. After a second yeah, and second, an era, era, the healing of time is kind of what I was talking about a while ago the about it. Themes of the wings. It's not just about the songs. Look, if you see like their whole, their whole albums, it's like a whole story. Era. The healing of these traumas is more visible in their Love Yourself trilogy, an era with tons of reflection and inspirational messages. After accepting themselves and building confidence, the BTS members ask themselves, who am I? In the Map of the Soul era, these albums are an exploration of self-identity, both as humans and as artists. Then the pandemic started, so their confusions, worries, coping mechanisms, and messages of hope of the future uh, are reflected in the goes on. era, which includes both uplifting and distracting songs and an intricate album describing their pandemic experience. Finally, before starting their mandatory military service, BTS released a compilation album of their most representative Japanese songs and an anthology album which compiles the songs that represent the members uh, as a group, as solo artists, and as people. Uh, yo, it was just something emotional about every time they would perform the songs that represent yet the to members come. as a group, as solo artists, and as people. This anthology album also has three new songs that explain BTS's thoughts on their comeback and future after their military service. On the side, the BTS members released solo projects that reflected their personal journeys as well. My point is that just like all of us, BTS has gone through many changes in their lives, and they will not hide these changes in their artistic expression. To the contrary, they will reflect their personal changes in their music. They've always in been the doing past that. 11 years, BTS has made music as teenagers, young adults, adults, and now they continue making music as they enter their 30s. This range of age is so important in someone's life because change will happen. And I think it's beautiful that BTS has never hidden the multiple changes in their lives. They actually highlight and celebrate change. Over the I mean, it ended up working out. You know, Bora City said that a lot of like companies don't like changing their music because they're afraid people won't like it but with bts i think they made it work i think if they didn't change and stuck to one thing they would never have achieved what they did years people have it's criticized bts's quote-unquote new artistic direction but as you can see there was never an old sound and a new sound change is a core part of bts's discography if one year they released a new sound in the next year or even in the next months they will release other it's sounds. always There's something no different before and after just constant change <laughs> Yeah, this is why when, when I when I saw this phrase, like I miss the old BTS sound. I'm just, I kind of thought like, well, what what do they mean by that? Like what what was the old BTS sound? <laughs> Another thing about the BTS eras is that although they usually reflect one sentiment or overall vibe, the sound also changes within the same era or the same album. Here's one example. Some people have this idea of the youth trilogy as this era with soft songs oh, and yeah. angelical voices. Oh yeah, albums always have like a whole bunch of uh, different type of songs in there this era is more recognizable for their sentimental view of life hey yo these songs are beautiful all of you from the youth era
after this era, they released Wings, which was more angsty and even seductive. Then the Very Love Yourself seductive. trilogy included more songs with EDM influences. Their next eras, Love Yourself, Map of the Soul, and B, included fun and happy songs people can dance to. So, I can say that I miss the sentimental view of life BTS had before. Now, they have these other sounds that I don't like. They fell off. What I just they did fell there off. was <laughs> picking. I picked and chose certain songs to create the narrative that yeah. BTS had a before. And yeah, because I was thinking, you know, they talked about all these songs, but hey, did they even check the, the B-sides of the albums? After in their music. In reality, the Youth Trilogy is more than just soft songs with a sentimental view of life. The Youth Era also had the angsty message with a seductive sound from their future Wings Era. The Youth Era had the idiom sound they would then evolve in their Love Yourself Era. Alright, so they, they're just showing us that, you know, when people make these arguments, they can pick and choose <laughs> to, to make it fit their narrative. In the youth era did have fun and happy songs people can dance to. Yeah, you Because know, I saw like one comment one time talking about that BTS did like more hip hop and stuff like that. And then I checked like their first album, Dark and Wild, and then they got stuff like Let Me Know, Blanket Kick. <laughs> like it's, it's, the same way it's always been the same thing. Choose different certain songs from any BTS era different and genres. this was their old sound. This is an excuse to criticize everything new BTS releases. But this makes no sense because their projects don't have one and only one sound. Their rebelliousness and anger from their school trilogy and Dark and Wild remain throughout all of their recent eras. Their sentimental view of life from the youth yeah, era there. remains throughout their recent eras as well. This also happens with their solo projects. For example, in one year, J-Hope produced two albums with different hip-hop sounds. A more modern, mostly aggressive hip-hop with a rock vibe and a street dance hip-hop inspired by his childhood. Although he released the first album in 2022 and the second one in 2024, he made both albums within the same year. He only released his second album later because of his military service. So as you can see, an artist or any person may experience changes within the same year. And just like J-Hope, it's very difficult for a person to have one sound or style. You don't want the same genre of movie all True. the time you, you don't like just one flavor you like a bunch personalities and preferences are complicated so true artistic expression is complicated as well i can't think about that with j-hope right but he has so to work on these songs on both albums at the same time So why do people pick and choose? Why do they refuse to see the overall picture? Sometimes this sentiment of missing or nostalgia is real. While it's true that some of this criticism comes from haters who want to hate, others don't do this intentionally. Like I said, not only BTS receives these comments, most artists do. And I think this usually has to do with an idealized perception of music. In this case, an idealized perception of BTS's music. People create an ideal version of BTS or any artist based on how they first found them and fell in oh. love with their music. So they're People gonna be find biased BTS in a certain that. place with a certain sound. Then they look for this sound in their entire discography and intentionally ignoring their variety of sounds so when the new albums drop they are faced with reality bts doesn't have one sound they have many and their next single will most probably be a new sound your favorite sound will come back at some point but you already have in your mind that they changed and it in might only be for a few era, songs <laughs> in every release of an album people say that they miss the old bts sound for example blood sweat and tears was one of the songs that got them a lot of worldwide fans so of course when when they changed their sound, people kept saying that they missed the art from Blood, Sweat and Tears. They don't find it in DNA, they don't find it in Mic Drop, they don't find it in Boy With Love. But I know that the ones who loved Blood, Sweat and Tears in 2016 would have loved Black Swan in 2020. People sometimes unintentionally create their own BTS by highlighting their favorite sound and ignoring the rest. This is how they create a dishonest before and after. Damn, sometimes there are, people are- There are real people who look at BTS and only like like one- style they, they missing out on everything else not even trying to give it a chance <laughs> or unconsciously in the lookout for change to criticize it for example there's this popular tweet of a bts oh. fan saying that they miss the old bts they tweeted this bulletproof boy scouts show champion countdown has been uploaded to the site staff diary 
I miss the old BTS too. What? In November of 2013. Wait, this isn't. They tweeted this in November of 2013. What? It was only months, and they were already saying they missed the old BTS. What? <laughs> and BTS debuted in June of 2013. Not even six months into their career, they were they already, already getting comments, this comments that they fell off, that they changed. What? <laughs> I think this goes back to our own idealized perceptions of music. This is also the reason why every generation says that they miss the music from back in their days. That was actual good music. Bro, it's that not just music, man. People are always saying like, ah, oh, life was so much better back in the old days. <laughs> music I guess everything it's just, new is just nostalgia not the same. is always they there they create this perception because it's how they first discovered perceived and enjoyed music expansion not abandonment I think this judgment is specifically unfair to BTS because although their sound has drastically evolved over the years, they never completely left behind their old sounds. They don't abandon their music, they expand it. Like I said, I think that the ones who loved Blood, Sweat and Tears in 2016 would have loved Black Swan in 2020. Now, if your response to this is that Black Swan is similar but not the same as Blood, Sweat and Tears, then I beg you to go out and practice yeah, like some it's, it's never thinking. gonna be the of exact course, same. these songs are not going to be exactly the same that is just disingenuous and lazy bts will give you the same vibe or even the same sound in some new projects but these songs will not be identical so here are some examples of how some new bts songs remind me oh. of old ones the fun and upbeat hip-hop based dope from 2015 had a cool choreography fast-paced raps and a melodic curse about hard work so did mic drop in 2017 and run bts in 2022 All of those are dope. <laughs> and they got sick live performances. Yo, we need, you can we need another Run BTS live performance, don't we? Like, <laughs> this cannot be the only one we ever get. <laughs> You can relive the romantic old school trilogy songs like Just One Day, Miss Bright, and Like in Augusty's SDL from 2023. Huh. Uh, SDL really is raps over the sound of traditional Korean instruments in Den from 2018, Detrita from 2020, and Hagen from 2023. And even then, like, these are so specific. Like, is someone really going to be like, oh, yo, old BTS was way better. They used to do fast paced raps over sound of traditional Korean instruments. Like, that is, that is so specific. <laughs> and then from 2018, Detrita from 2020. Like, you can't just, you can't just hyper focus on like one style, right? 2023. Then, and they work on many styles and give us a couple yeah, songs yeah. for each one. The playfulness and sweetness of the sound in Closer Than This remind me of the sound in Fly To My Room. Ooh. Ooh. That's true. August This Polar Night from 2023 reminds me of J-Hope's Boy Meets Evil from 2016. <laughs> Hey, Yungi really bringing back from 2023. Yungi really bringing back a whole bunch of their styles for his his album. Huh? In Take Two from 2023, BTS continued their classical pop sound with uplifting messages of songs like "Love Myself" and "Microcosmos." The soulful sound of Stigma from 2016 is also present in Blue in 2023. Uh -huh. If you miss I mean, the old non-stop changes and a complicated choreography like Not Today in 2017, you can listen to On from 2020 or Set Me Free Part 2 from 2023. I mean, would, it, would there really be people? 20 or set me free part two from 2023 that would only like like those three songs like oh, those are the only songs with style i like all the rest nah 
<laughs> I mean, there, there might be actually. The funky hip hop sound of Mass City from 2015 is also present in Disease from 2020 and Lock and Lock from 2024. <laughs> And let's not forget BTS's Map of the Soul era in which they reimagined their school trilogy. Let's go. You give me love. Yeah. You give me love. Oh. Since a boy too. I wanna be a rock. I want it on mine. I wanna be a me. It, 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 it's too sad. <laughs> Wow, wait, they really did <laughs> So, they really no did more, reuse it. I miss BTS's old sound. I'm tired of that false narrative and it seems like BTS is too. One more thing I want to say. In order to make this video and make this list of songs, I had to change my perception for a minute. I had to analyze the exact ways in which BTS changed. And I had oh. to think the same way people who miss the old BTS do. I had to connect their new songs to their old songs. And with that experience, my question is, why are you doing this? As I was listening to their new songs, songs to make this list, I got distracted with some amazing yeah. songs we wouldn't have gotten if BTS stayed with their first song. I listened to Wildflower, for example, and I realized that- And are there people who really want to miss out on the whole experience just because they only like one style? BTS stayed with their first song. I listened to Wildflower, for example, and I realized that it doesn't remind me of any old song. But how am I supposed to ignore and move on from Wildflower? Picking and exactly. choosing is so exhausting and boring. It's a miserable way of thinking, and I don't understand how people do this all the time. I think they just gotta, conclusion, don't take BTS. They gotta give everything a chance, you know, bro. broaden their perspective. <laughs> In conclusion, don't take BTS's one sound that you like as their one and only sound, because that will bring disappointment. Actually, don't do this with any artist. People change yeah. over time because they go... Yeah, the, the artist would probably feel like they're just being forced to just stick with one thing. What if they don't want to? disappointment actually don't do this with any artist people change over time because they go through different stuff over time people leave school find love have their heart broken they find disappointment and success people get married divorce have kids and go through unscapable societal changes when bts comes back from the military don't expect one specific sound from the past there will be some kind of musical change because they went through a major life change it's unnatural to maintain the same sound let me give you an example from a rock band system of a down is a band that released five albums from 1998 to 2005. They are still a band and occasionally tour, but it's been almost 20 years since they released their last album. These five Wait, really? albums have what people consider the system of a down sound, and this sound has given them praise and complaints. Some people say that their songs are too similar to each other, and others cannot get enough of this sound. In 2018, the band explained why they decided to stop making music. While some members wanted to continue with the band's sound and even composed songs that will never see the light of day, others wanted to find new sounds Ooh. and new artistic so they directions. Different opinions? This is a kind of positive example. The band members are still friends and agree to tour, but ultimately they decided to stop change. They decided to keep their musical catalog short and stuck in and one And that's, that's fine? I'm not saying this is bad. Like I said, this if is kind of a positive example because most bands break up. But BTS never run away from change. BTS are risk takers and they will shame expand their sound. Once you accept this, listening to BTS's music can be the most fun experience. Sometimes they will recall and evolve the sound you fell in love with, and other times they will lead you through a new unknown adventure. Exactly. Like, I'm sad that I can never experience listening to their, their albums for the first time again. Okay, well that explained everything. I guess it is kind of silly if people are saying they miss the old BTS sound because in reality it could mean they're just talking about like they miss three songs from one album and Bora City also talked about how you can like pick and choose specific songs 
if you want to fit a certain narrative about their sound because the reality is that every album always has different sounds and every time they release an album there, there's new sounds there when i was first discovering bts music this is, this is something i never really thought about i like i never really complained like oh yo why are they changing genres so much instead i just kind of listened and enjoyed had fun discovering what they they worked on them the music they were making the lyrics they were writing and if people aren't willing to give that a chance well i guess that's just that's their their problem but yeah that was a, a nice video it was nice to look back right on bts's discography they really are talented for being able to make all their albums and songs work even though a lot of them are very different from each other but anyways i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching